Will California soon be underwater? Researchers are warning that melting ice shelves in Antarctica could cause sea levels to rise higher than expected, with the changes being most apparent in California. Scientists theorize that due to the Earth's rotation and gravitational pull, melting ice in Antarctica, particularly in the western portion, is pulled toward the California coast. This makes rising sea levels more dramatic in the region. For every foot of global sea level rise caused by the melting West Antarctic, sea levels will rise approximately 1.25 feet on the California coast. In 2100, sea levels could rise as high as 6.9 feet in San Francisco and 7.1 feet in La Jolla. The California Ocean Protection Council plans to hold a series of workshops and propose measures to address this issue. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for how rising sea levels affect our lives. Climate change has already caused islands to vanish. A new study led by University of Queensland researchers say that changes in global climate and the subsequent sea level rise has already led to the loss of multiple Pacific islands. A team of Australian scientists say that Isabel, one of the main islands of the Solomon Archipelago, has already lost five of its reef islands. Another six islands on Isabel have declined in area by more than 20% between 1947 and 2014. Meanwhile, residents of the island of Nuatambu have been forced to relocate to the nearby main island of Choiseul because of flooding. Of the dozens of homes that once stood on Nuatambu, at least 11 have already been swept away by the rising waters. While the global average rate of sea level rise has been 3.2 millimeters per year since 1993, the Solomon Islands have experienced an average rise by about 7 to 10 millimeters per year since 1994. The research team, who published their study in the journal Environmental Research Letters on Friday, discovered that the sea level rise has destroyed villages that have existed since the 1930s and has displaced numerous communities. Washington, D.C. could sink six or more inches by the end of the century. Scientists have confirmed that sea level in the Washington, D.C. area is rising faster than the rest of the East Coast, due not only to global warming but also to a phenomenon called glacial isostatic adjustment of the land surface. Global warming is melting glaciers, which alone is likely to cause average global sea levels to rise anywhere from one to two and a half feet by 2100. Climate change, however, is also causing thermal expansion, which also results in sea level rise. A team of researchers drilled 70 boreholes, many over 100 feet deep into the ground around Chesapeake Bay, and were able to paint an expansive portrait covering millions of years of the body of water across time and space. The researchers discovered that the Washington, D.C. area's sinking also has the last ice age to blame, as the glacier covering the area at the time was heavy, causing the ground to sink beneath its weight. This resulted in the area bordering the ice to bulge upward and cause the D.C. area to sink, adding an additional half foot to the region's rise in sea level by the end of the century. Scientists do not expect this process to stop anytime soon, as they say it will continue for tens of thousands of years. Sea levels rising faster than previously thought. A new study has revealed that sea levels have been rising at an unprecedented rate. Global sea levels had been rising at a minimal rate of less than half an inch per decade between 1900 and 1990, but have since risen 1.2 inches per decade. The increase has been linked to global warming-induced factors. Researchers say the rise is due to thermal expansion of warmer seawater and the melting of glaciers and ice sheets. as well as the faster flow of water from the land to the ocean due to human irrigation projects. Harvard researcher Carling Hay says the rapid rise in sea levels is concerning for cities along the U.S.'s eastern coast. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Thought climate change predictions were scary. Well, they just got a whole lot scarier. The possible effects of climate change are far worse and could come far sooner than we previously thought. So says James Hansen, a leading climate change researcher who was among the first to warn the public about the serious effects of a buildup of carbon dioxide. The former director of NASA's Institute for Space Studies, along with 18 other leading climate scientists, 
published a paper this week predicting rapid sea level rises could happen within decades. A team of researchers primary claim that as the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica melt, a layer of cold fresh water will build up over the ocean, trapping warmer, salty ocean water, with which it doesn't easily mix, underneath the surface, and thereby leading to a feedback loop that causes ice shelves to melt even more rapidly, effectively slowing down and possibly shutting down ocean circulation, an idea apparently not too dissimilar from the premise of the 2004 disaster movie The Day After Tomorrow. The scientists believe that this ice melting will cool polar regions of the globe and warm areas around the equator, causing stark temperature variances that could make superstorms, such as Hurricane Sandy, which struck the U.S. East Coast with devastating effect in 2012, far more frequent. To argue their case, the researchers controversially claim that storms during the warm Eemian period 120,000 years ago were powerful enough to lift massive boulders, 1,000 tons in size, from the bottom of the ocean and hurl them ashore. Hansen and his team believe a multimeter sea level rise could occur before the end of the century and envelop all of the planet's coastal cities. Despite the dire predictions, Hansen, in an accompanying video, explained that there may possibly still be an opportunity to reverse this worrying trend, saying, quote, I doubt that we have passed the point of no return, but frankly, we're not certain of that. <laughs>